Right, Friday morning, uh, 28th of July. I'm out in the Bateman this morning, just spraying off some of these spring oats at Farm Free. Um, the heads, the grain might look like it's ripe to cut, but underneath the straw is really green, so it just makes life so much easier for combining and baling the straw. If we put some Roundup on it for a week or 10 days before we cut it, and then it just everything just goes so much quicker and easier. We're going to get on with servicing the combine in a minute, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing at 7.43 on a Friday morning. Things like this as well, like it's all pretty green along the side of this wood, and it just evens it all up. All right, brace yourselves. It's about to get very dusty. Now blowing some diesel in the combine. Stephen's putting diesel in the combine right now. I'm going to get the ad blue tank. I'm going to try and get it in this bucket. That sort of looks safe, doesn't it? Well, no, I just went out spraying this morning, so that's what's delayed me. I'm trying to be in three places at once. Now someone's ringing me. The neighbours are already out. They beat us to it. Looks like they're chopping their wheat straw. That's a 7 S790. Oh, it already feels like it's been a long morning. Where's the time? It's already half past 11. I mean, we um, wanted to wait until the grain's dry anyway, so there was no rush. Your business finances are one place, making life easier. As a parent, you influence your children in all sorts of ways. From the football team they support, smashed it. To the way they pronounce God, go. But you're also the biggest influence on their education and career choices. Talking hopefully, my glamour, glamorous assistant, Stephen, is going to hopefully connect up the header. Young person can make informed choices about their future. Wonder we want some gloves. that field that we were cutting yesterday afternoon or evening. This is still the first trailer load. We averaged we only averaged 33 tons an hour on that field which isn't very good. 
about that because yesterday I, just, I kept having to stop and wait for trailers. But today we're going to have three trailers on, so we'll see what what tons per hour we can get up to in the next field. So I've nearly finished the field, and we are averaging. Oh, just loading up, Jeremy. We are averaging 42 tons per hour, so not too bad. But it's not. It's only uh, yielding nine tons of hectare. So if we were in a 10 ton crop, we'd be up here 50 ton an hour. So. It's going to be interesting to see what we can get up to on the on the first week. Getting a good load on for Jeremy. Jeremy's in his 7710. We've got three trailers. We've got Jeremy in his 77. He's got a decent load on that. Um, Stephen uh, is in my tractor, and Annabelle is in the 6150R. So this is the 14 tonner uh, that is on the back of Jeremy's tractor. He's very close. Oh, he's just touched the header. He's <laughs> he just touched the side guard on the header. Um, but that's not good. Yeah, it's just surprising. Once I'm used to those 18 tonners now, how much smaller the 14 tonner is. It's narrower, it's lower, it's shorter. And I also forget that I can't fit two full tanks, combine tanks in this trailer. I get about eight tonner wheat in my trailer. In, not in my trailer, in my combine tank. That's the first wheat out there that we're about to go into. I'm on the last field of second wheat now, and that does look like a good crop. So this is yielding, I think this is averaging about eight, nine ton this second wheat, which isn't bad for second wheat. We'll say that. Ooh. And you can see sort of like the gaps in it and thin patches. This is really quite heavy soil here, so it led a bit wet in the winter. And second wheat always yields lower anyway because it's the second second crop of wheat in a row, two years running. Friday evening now. I've just stopped waiting for a trailer. It's the first time I've waited for a trailer all day, so not too bad. I'm third time round the headland on this uh, first wheat. It's a tiny little row of straw. We're averaging 45 ton an hour on the headland. It's about a 16 hectare field, something like that. So it's got quite a big headland on it. We're going along at about four and a half K, I think. That's good, I'm all right, I'm happy with that. I can see one grain, right there. So, where's the dog gone? The dog was here a second ago. Eric, come on. Can't see anything there. If we're lo losing anything on the ground out here, it's because it's coming over the sieves. Where the hell's the dog gone? Eric! Come on! I think he must have taken himself for a walk somewhere. Trouble is, he, when he's sat in the cab, he's eyeing up all the rabbits and the hares. Here he comes, look. And he marks them all. He marks them. He remembers where they are. Here comes Stephen. We've only been stopped a couple of minutes. Come on, son, let's go. Got a nice sunset tonight. You ready to go? You had a little run? Can't beat that, look. Lovely sunset. That's a bit of combining. It'd be a, definitely be a toss up between combining here right now and sat in the pub garden. It'd be a tricky one. Throw in a pizza, maybe it'd be the pub garden, but I'm not sure. Alright, that's me. We're full up. 
and none of the trailers are coming back, so that's it for tonight. It's quarter to ten, so not too late, but it's an hour round trip for the trailers, so if they came back, one's only just left and I'm already full. If they came back, it would have got really late, but we shall resume in the morning. Looks like we got a dry weekend forecast. We're going, um, yeah, we'll go and put this away. Right, as long as nobody's messed with this roller shutter door, we should just be able to drive straight in with the bin lids up like we did last night. made life a lot easier using that no time at all if you didn't see it in the last video it's just these height sensing skids that determines the stubble height they just wear out on the heel the flints are given the skids on the bottom of his head are right shoeing at the moment there's n just no giving the soil the, the uh, you just see the header jump up in the air when it hits a big flint basically Right, Saturday morning now. I haven't got much space left on my memory card on the camera, so I probably won't do a lot of videoing today. But I have got the drone and I have got it charging up as we speak, so if I get the time, I will put the drone up, do a bit of videoing with that. Uh, this is yielding really well on this. This is X Days, um, and it's yielding really well, actually. I mean, I'm only on the headland. Eric's had a haircut, so he's looking trim. So, yeah, right, it is it's about midday. We've only done a couple of trailer loads so far. We didn't get going too early because there's not much sunshine. she comes so Jeremy's having a day off today uh, so we've just been going with two trailers but they're not keeping up very well so Laura has jumped on the 155 <laughs> concentration face um, just to take the pressure off a little bit off the other two trailers and I'm just gonna top her up before she goes back she's got the 14 tonner on there just like Jeremy had yesterday Wave to my camera so your mum and dad can see her. Wave. <laughs> Why aren't you waving? Now wave. Say hi, dad. <laughs> this could be a bit of an issue. We've got a pole in the way. I think we're gonna have to stop. Some of you probably want to hear my thoughts on the tracks and how well I'm getting on with them, but maybe I'll do that at the end of the harvest in one of the last videos. Monday the 1st of August, I'm just cutting the last field of wheat right now, well it's just finishing the 
uh, last bit of week. We should have finished yesterday, but we got rained off, so that was rather annoying. But um, yeah, and it, yeah, it wasn't just annoying that we got rained off. It was it was just enough rain to stop us, but it wasn't enough rain to do any good to the ground sort of thing, because the ground, uh, most places, as you know, bloody dry and bloody hard. We have still got wheat to cut at Jeremy's farm, but uh, we're going to go and cut some oats before we go there. We got oats to cut here at farm two. Uh, and then we'll be completely done at this farm then. Yeah, we're going to put 70 hectares of rape in the ground, so we're desperate for some rain for that really. Get some, get a decent bit of rain and then we will drill that. Yeah, so just at this farm, since I started video and making this video, that's 100 hectares of wheat, average, between the second wheat and first wheat, if that's average 10 tonne, that's going to be a thousand tonne of wheat, isn't that, that we've shifted? And then back at farm three, we did 42 hectares there. That's 420 tons. So yeah, we've got a fair bit of wheat in the shed. He's stringing his bale up. Right, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Tomorrow, I'll start a new video. We're gonna start oats tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.